Hello, welcome back to Learn Physics. In today's topic, we are continuing with our electromagnetic induction. So in last video, we learned about the self inductions and mutual induction. Okay, so uh, this is the last portion, last part of this chapter. Okay, so only a small portion is left out that is AC generator. So it is AC generator. So how we can uh, explain the working of AC generator. This about AC generator, the, uh, uh, how AC generator is working and all, a small discussion you would have learned in uh, your 10th standard. Isn't it? What is a generator? What are the parts of generator? All those things you learned there, isn't it? So today we are going to continue with that. What is the proper theory behind this AC generator? So AC generator means it is working under the principle of electromagnetic induction. So what will be electromagnet? What is electromagnetic induction when? magnetic flux linked with the circuit changes and EMF is induced in the coil that is called a electromagnetic induction. So here in this AC generator we have a north pole and we have a south pole that is a coil is kept in between in presence of a magnetic field okay and we are using two slip rings two slip rings and along with that we are connecting a brush and it is connected to a galvanometer and a coil is rotating like this we are made to rotate this coil okay so it, this is the uh, schematic diagram of an AC generator. This is the coil is armature coil is kept between the pole pieces of a uh, electromagnet or a permanent magnet, a heavy magnet we will be keeping and the ends of the coil is connected with the two slip rings S1 and S2 which is in touch with two brushes B1 and B2. Okay, and when we are rotating this coil, what will happen? The electricity will be generating. When how the coil will be rotated? The coil can in hydroelectric power means it will be the coil will be rotated with the help of water. When water is falling down on the uh, the turbine, it will be rotating. Okay, that rotation or if it is a steam engine means steam will be helping it to rotate. Okay, so it will be rotating and at the rotate at the when it is rotating at that time only current will be generating how current will be generating when it is rotating that is the next question isn't it so when how the magnetic field is passing from uh, this it will be from north to south pole like that magnetic field will be moving from north to south pole and in between this coil will be rotating while it is rotating what will happen magnetic flux linked with the circuit changes isn't it so here if the coil is if the coil is like this okay the magnetic field is moving like this okay so many number of magnetic field lines are passing through this coil isn't it when the coil is rotating the magnetic field passing through this is not touching this coil isn't it so what will happen number of magnetic field lines passing through the coil is changing if it is changing what will happen number of magnetic field lines that is magnetic flux linked with the circuit changes and emf is inducing in the circuit so an emf will be induced in the circuit because of that current is generating that is called a induced current okay so how it is happening so when the magnetic field lines are moving like this what will be the flux linked with the circuit flux linked with the circuit will be equal to b dot a so that is b a cos theta what is theta? Theta is the angle of angular displacement. If omega is the angular velocity, then it is applicable for t time interval, then we can write it as theta equals 
omega because velocity equals distance travel divided by time displacement divided by time so velocity into display the time will give you displacement angular displacement equals angular velocity into time so we can write it as phi is equal to b a cos omega t so how we can find out the emf linked with the circuit minus n into d phi by dt where n is the number of turns of the coil minus n into d phi by dt so we can write it as minus n into d by dt of what is phi b a cos omega t so b and a are constant so we are considering it as n a b d by dt of cos omega t what is this d by dt of cos omega t that is equal to minus n a b cos theta is minus sin theta so it will become plus sin omega t into see again we should differentiate omega t while we are differentiating omega t omega is a constant dt by dt that is equal to 1 therefore we will get it as omega so we will get the answer as n a b omega sin omega t that is emf so emf linked with the circuit e is equal to e is 0 sin omega t where e is 0 equals n a b omega okay n a b omega that is e is 0 okay so this is the magnetic flux so emf induced in the coil so emf induced in this ac generator in the coil of the ac generator is n a b omega sin omega t then now how it is becoming ac that one we should know isn't it so we know what is this omega t omega t is theta what is that theta theta is the angle between b and a so when the magnetic field is passing like this so what will happen see for initially suppose if initially the coil is like this okay magnetic field is passing in this band in this way from north side to south side so when it is moving this is the direction this is the magnetic field line okay d is like this but the ang theta is the angle between b vector and a vector b vector is acting like this what is the direction of a vector area vector will be acting perpendicular to the plane so it will be at that also will be acting in this way perpendicular to this plane that means like this so this two vectors are acting in the same direction that is parallel vectors so it is theta is equal to 0 over there if it is cos 0 you so see what is this n a b sin 0 what is 0 where that is f b and a are parallel that is coil is perpendicular to the magnetic field okay so usually children will think if coil is perpendicular how we will be getting the zero so if the coil is perpendicular if coil is perpendicular to magnetic field so if this is the magnetic field and coil is perpendicular like this magnetic field area vector will be acting perpendicular to the plane so the area vector will be acting in this direction so what will be the angle between b and a it is theta while coil is perpendicular to the magnetic field lines area vector will be acting along the direction of magnetic field so it is theta is equal to 0 therefore theta is equal to 0 so you understood this what is how we, the theta we are getting it as 0 okay when t, theta is equal to 0 what will happen e is equal to e 0 sin 0 sin 0 is 0 so magnetic field will be 0 okay now when if coil is parallel to the magnetic field what will happen if coil is parallel to the magnetic field then theta will be equal to 90 because area vector will be perpendicular to the magnet magnetic field is not changing it is fixed isn't it from moving like this only so theta is equal to 90 degree therefore e equals e0 sin 90 sin 90 is 1 so we will be getting maximum magnetic field so when again when it is becoming 180 degree then it will be moving in the opposite direction 0 to 90 like this it will be so it will be varying from 0 and when it become 180 degree what will happen cos 180 that will be 
uh, yes minus 1 so it will be moving in the opposite direction so when theta is equal to 90 180 degree it will be e equals minus e equals again 0 then when it is becoming 270 e is equal to minus e 0 like that maximum value it will be getting so the final the output how we will be getting so if I am drawing a graph relating this is time and this is induced EMF induced EMF if I am marking like this this is 0 and this is 90 degree this is 180 degree this is 270 and this is 360 like that if I am marking ok so if theta equals 0 that is sin 0 0 it will be so you will be getting 0 value if theta equals 90 maximum this is e0 you guess then we will be getting the maximum value again 180 when it is coming what will happen sin 180 0 sin 270 minus 1 that is in the negative direction minus e0 and again 360 is 0 so we will be getting the magnetic field in this way okay so clear how we are getting the electric field electric field in this uh, electric field and time how it is varying you understood okay so this is the uh, so many uh, type of ac generators are there hydroelectric power steam using steam that is thermoelectric power and many type of electric current uh, the generators are there that is ac generators are there all are working under the electromagnetic induction only under the principle of electromagnetic induction only only thing is what is used to rotate the turbine okay so clear all of you so this formula is important okay a0 nab omega omega we know it is depending on the frequency omega equals 2 pi nu in that way also you can write down the answers okay because if in the numerical if question comes like 2 pi into nu you can use that formula okay so understood so this is the end of the chapter so in next video i will be coming with the optics part okay so first we will be considering the ray optics and wave optics okay after that we will start uh, electronics okay clear so i hope all of you understood all these things and if you like the channel please don't forget to subscribe thank you for watching bye